Hi, I'm Soliart. What I love about Photoshop is what you can do is limitless. Anything that comes to your mind, you can create it. So today I was thinking that let's do something different. Let's create a screaming apple face. So to show you guys how exactly I did that, actually there are just very simple principles that you should know about. The shadows and the layer and the lay mask most of the time. So let's get started. So I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff that I already have. And I just need the apple. Well, basically it's two images on top of each other. So I'm just going to drag this image, put it on my apple. If you press 6 or one of the number on your keyboard, you can give it some opacity so you can see what's exactly behind it. So I can just adjust it. I'm just going to control minus or command minus, command T or control T on your keyboard. I'm just going to just fix this to create the screaming mouse for Apple. When I feel it's right, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see exactly what's going on. A little smaller. I think now it's fine. So I'm just going to press OK. I increase the opacity. I duplicate this layer. Sorry. I duplicate the layer. And I turn this off, one of them. So just take a copy of it. So if I made a mistake, I can just go back. So I'm just going to go to my elliptical marquito tool I'm just gonna easily drag around the mouse right cool then I'm just gonna click on mask layer mask then press B on your keyboard the brush is coming up right click put the hardness on zero the size well fine and I start brushing and removing the extra things that is left behind I'm just going to do a quick remove now again I right click on your mouse and make the hardness 25% then with your left bracket you can just I'm just gonna right click again brush right click this size a little smaller I guess it's better smaller I think 15 it's fine I'm just gonna give it some I'm just gonna get it up most stuff the lips to be look like kind of going into kind of blend into the apple I don't need most of top right don't worry if you do something wrong you can always back because we're using mask So harsh edge is better because I can see that it's kind of blending in. But for the bottom of the mouse, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm just going to go around the corner. This is look like it's a very natural look. If I mess around, I can just press X on my keyboard and this top and left button the white and black is just gonna switch and I can just paint over brush over it I think right now this is kind of it's cool 
and it's it's okay. I can just come here and make a little cleaner area and make it nicer. This area a little bit. All right? Okay, this is fine. The next thing I have to go to my this little icon here. The color adjustment layer. Then I click the hue and the saturation. Active the colorize button and press the invert. Now you can adjust and see what's going on exactly. I'm just going to give it a really exact color match. To blend in a little bit the mouse. Okay, I think this is kind of cool. Okay, now the cool thing about this here saturation that we are using already is, is already giving us the layer mask. Click on layer mask, and I want to paint over it and see what's happened. The inside hardness, zoom it down. Don't worry about the area that we can always go back and just fix it. Okay. I'm brushing, I'm painting over it, and press X so I can just paint back area that I already cut off the line so again go back to my painting okay right now I am selecting my image and Command L and the darkness just gonna bring a little bit down. It gives a very natural feeling to it and it's more natural. Okay. Brightness a little more. So now press OK. I think the mouse is okay. Then I'm going back to my another layer. I'm just going to bring this on top. Press 5 on my keyboard. I'm just going to go back, press 5 so I can see the opacity. I'm just going to adjust the eyes. The eye is so big. I'm just going to Command T. Control 0 is just going to show me the all layers. Command plus plus plus. It's gonna little rotate these eyes. Okay. I think now it's fine. Press OK. Press zero. So bring back the opacity. Control plus. Zoom in. Elliptical marketer tool. Just. Select, select, hold down shift, you can do another selection, press the mask, press B on your keyboard, right click, hardness zero, size a little bigger, start painting over, I see 100%. So 
Zone. I'm just gonna put my hardness on 36. Okay, it's gonna go over. Should we look like it's going inside? It gives it a very realistic look so we get rid of the lightness from the outside we can always go back and adjust these things just gonna use my right bracket to make this a little bigger to make the brush bigger I'm just gonna Get to that, these areas very quickly. Smaller brush. Maybe it doesn't matter too much. First, I'm switching between white and black in the MS. So now, I think it's fine. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to double click on this layer and bevel and emboss. Come here. Blend mode. Mm, if I click on build and emboss, go to a style, use the emboss, but direction should be down. Then I can just bring the size a little bit up and down to make it more realistic. I think down is better five. We can play around with it. Highlight mode, or the best thing that in, sh in shading use global light turn this off in opacity in highlight mode click on this white color and pick up the brightest color in your image press ok bring down the opacity a little bit so you still see these lines below the eyes we fixed it later then click on the multiple shadow but i forget to in this highlight mode but then put it on color touch it's make it bright. Bring down opacity. Now it's nice. Click on the shadow mode and choose a dark area for the top. Press OK. Now click OK. So we are going back to our, our mask and I'm just gonna paint over again. to be totally blending then I'm just going to my this adjustment layer here and saturation again I'm holding down my space to bring this and I'm just going to see what I'm going to do colorize it invert it Now I'm just going to adjust a little bit. And this is pretty cool and natural. Okay, I'm cool. Just going to go on the image again. Control L. Make it a little darker. Give it more depth to it and press OK. And I think this is pretty cool. And thank you guys for watching. And this is, was the tutorial of how to create a screaming apple. And I think it was very simple. Thanks again.